A bride recently went viral after she allowed one of her bridesmaids' boyfriends to propose to her in the middle of her own wedding. And while some people thought that the gesture was super sweet, like I did, others thought that it took a lot of nerve to make someone else's day like their big day about themselves. On one hand, the bride clearly knew that it was going to happen. You guys, obviously, you can see that she's helping them set it up. Yeah. But on the other hand, they're saying that she may have actually felt pressured to say yes, you know, so that she wouldn't ruin Ooh. that guy's proposal. Which made me wonder, you guys, would you ever allow someone to propose on your special day or on a special event of yours? Why Hell are you nodding no, Garcelle? No. Hell to the no. There are 365 days in the year. Pick another day. <laughs> Pick another but, day. But not every, it's not every day that they're going to be in like a beautiful setting. Everyone's going to be in gowns. I'm so that sorry to hear that. she got her hair and makeup that. done. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Ooh, That's not okay. Mad. I mean, obviously, obviously this bride was okay with it. And that made it yeah. beautiful. But I don't think that's right. I don't think you, that's right. There's other days to do it. I don't want my special day memory to be of you getting engaged. I, don't, I just don't think it's good decorum. I really don't. I would have wow. to say wow. if it's during the bouquet toss. I was like, sure. If it's, what, see, but that, that's because that's you, Munchkin. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's a I lot of things that's so with nice. a wedding. But no, but that's that's the one time that you're supposed to be the princess. Yeah. And this is coming from a, a, a woman that hosts Bridezillas. You know what I mean? I see right. everything that they go through. I when we did your wedding, Munchkin, I mean, what would that look like? Hey, uh, Adrian, I know we over here in Paris and everything. <laughs> and since we over here, can I piggyback on your event, like right after you kiss the yeah, you know, kiss no. Israel? That ain't right. Someone did right. do that at my wedding. Guys, Who? I know this probably isn't public information, but one of my family members wanted to ask his girlfriend to marry him. And so yeah. on my day of my wedding, I actually sent one of my assistants to go get, you know, the love lock, um, the gate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. When people yeah, put those love Paris, locks on, on I went and had yeah. an, one of them engraved for them. On the day of my wedding, I was working to get them a lock and have it engraved with their name so that they could put it on the love lock thing. And I thought it was special and nice. Uh, they got married and they got divorced, so maybe that wasn't a good idea. Oh, that, see, wait, see, <laughs> see, swear, see, I swear, they got married and they are now divorced. <laughs> that was I only see? got married four years ago. I know. Okay. That's why so, I was like, what happened? You just got married. They got yeah. divorced. I swear, yeah. they're already no, divorced. It's not okay. I just I can't think make that's these things your up. special day. They need to have their special day. That's how I feel. That's it. I, okay, I, yeah, I also it. I also knew somebody that this kind of happened to. I went, oh, I don't know if I could say this. All right, I'm going to say it. Okay, so I went on a birthday trip for the rapper Fab, and yeah. it was the night of his, his, it, the, his birthday. We had a huge party at the club in Santo Domingo. We went to the Dominican Republic. We're having the best time. It was good vibes. It was all couples, all couples. And uh, we later went up to Fab's huge suite, and out of nowhere, I'm talking, and I turn over, and Neo was proposing to his then, the mother of his children, Moneta. And I know it sounds really weird, but it was, it was kind of awkward. And you could tell that Fab was kind of like, what's happening? This hey, is my birthday boys, party. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It was like, it's, it's my birthday party. It's not uh, right. What is happening here? I mean, granted, he was, of course, happy for them, but it, there definitely was a slightly <laughs> awkward moment there. There was a, like that? It was that type of moment? Uh, I swear, I just noticed right now that, you know, you oh, know oh, that's heartbreaking. Their, their situation didn't Maybe. work out. Maybe it's just bad juju to do that. Yes, See? it's bad juju. Listen, remember Meghan Markle went to Princess Eugene's wedding, and at mm -hmm. the wedding, she mentioned that she was pregnant which took all the attention from Princess uh, Eugene to Meghan Markle's baby I never Markle's thought of it bump. that way. That's what I'm talking about. You don't do that. It's not kosher. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, I just all learned right. something. Y'all just really made me rethink this because I was like, this is so nice. Okay. And I never understood See? why it would be yeah. bothersome to anyone. You're too nice. You guys You're made some great nice. points.